I always get these questions about how to write songs. I, does the music or the words come first? Or do you just steal lyrics outright? Or <laughs> do you use real situations? And the answer is yes. just different things that I do. I, I mean, my favorite thing is actually just to sit there on the couch, because I don't like to sit upright very much, and uh, <laughs> just play chords over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> till the words rush me like a storm. I'll tell you what. Back in the days when pot was really cheap. <laughs> you could do this for hours. <laughs> it is unbelievable how great a guitar sounds when you're high. I mean, I mean, even like, you know, learning that first few licks to Stairway to Heaven, you know, I just said, <laughs> so cool, I just can't hardly get over it. And anyway, just keep playing until finally a lyrical miracle. <laughs> the next time you think about leaving me, darling, you better think about it twice. I'm the boss in this here relationship And I give all the good advice No one's ever quit me Honey, though they've sometimes been retired So next time you think about Packing up that little flowery cosmetic bag You can't quit You're fired You're out of here I'm the man around here I'll try and make this clear See, I wear the pants, you wear the dresses I make the mess, you clean the messes Cause I'm the man around here. This this goes over really well at the VFW in Bandera. <laughs> in a town where no man over the age of 15 years has any visible means of support. works for me. Nobody ever knows what the hell I do. That's right, darling, I'm the man around here. Now, you might think that that means that I'm just a purveyor of some machismo discourse on the interaction between two human beings and their relentless pursuit of a common goal, my happiness. <laughs> but you know us. Thumbing through the channels the other day, darling, I picked up this program on, on PBS. It was all about how feminism was pretty much dead, dead in the water. That's right. There's nothing going on with it anymore. I mean, it's a, it's a dead issue. I, I didn't say it. I, they did. I'm just passing it on. They set up. Set up. You know, coming right here on the eve of the new millennium that uh, men are back. We're back, that's right. And we know how to get together and be men, that's right. We get together, we get in our pickup truck and we cram about four or five of us in the front there and put two or three of us in the back, get a couple of cases of beer. And we drive out into the country, 
find some little black top road, get to the end of the black top road, find a little gravel road, get to the end of the gravel road, and we stop, we say, by God, we're men, look at us, we're in the middle of nowhere and we don't give a damn. And then we crawl through a fence and we walk through a pasture, find a little forest, walk through the forest, find a little clearing. Right there in the dead center of that little clearing, we take some logs and we pile them all up in a great big old pile. We take that can of gasoline that we were carrying with us and we pour it all over them logs, fire it up, set it on fire. That's right, and then we strip off buck naked. This is where it gets primeval, I'm telling you. And we hold hands, because we're men, by God. And we dance around that fire, and we yell, and we scream, and we shoot off guns and firecrackers, and do all that neat shit that we had not got to do in the last 20 years. I take out the trash I'm gonna sing you another chorus of this song Oh I'm do the talking and you do the listening. I make testosterone and you make estrogen because I'm the man around here at the Big Boss Man. People always wonder, what record is that on? I was like, it ain't on one and it ain't going on one. <laughs>